This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at the set fit NLP library from Hugging Face. So what is set fit? Set fit is efficient few shot learning with sentence transformers. So the idea over here is that when you have few shot training data, you can generate sentence pairs from this few shot training data and then you can fine tune a pre-trained sentence transformer using contrastive learning right and then you use that fine-tuned sentence transformer to get embeddings on your few shot training data and then you have a classification head uh, basically a logistic regression over here to train for classification okay so that is the idea over here and what they say is that it is prompt free framework and it achieves high accuracy with little labeled data for instance with only eight labeled examples per class on a particular customer reviews sentiment data set and it is competitive with fine tuning roberta large on the full training of 3k examples okay so that is the claim over here and they claim it is fast to train it doesn't require uh, you know like large models like t0 or gpt3 to achieve high accuracy and it has multilingual support because it has been um, built using sentence transformers okay sentence transformers has support for multiple languages so this particular model also has support for this uh, set fit also has support for multilingual or multiple languages so I thought I will try it out. So basically they have given an example code over here on how you can actually train an end-to-end -end example, how you can train a classifier. So let me thought I will try this on a particular Kaggle data set. So this is the disaster tweets data set. Okay, where you have tweet text and you have to classify them as, uh, you know, whether it is belonging to the disaster class or not, okay. So in this data, you have your training data, which is close to, uh, you know, 7503 unique values. So basically 7503 uh, tweets, basically. And this is the distribution of the target. Okay, non disaster tweets are 4342 and disaster tweets are 3271. Okay, and then you have a test set, uh, which has 3243 values without the tweet classification. So you will do your tweet classification on this and then submit it to the competition. So that is the idea over here. So earlier I had created a model on this particular data set using BERT and it had achieved an public score of 83.64. Okay. And here I had actually explained about, uh, you know, a little more about uh, exploratory data analysis on this data set. I will put this link, you can check that out. So I'm not going to explain um, that part again. So what I'm going to do is that I am going to try this set fit library on this particular data set. And I had a uh, used GPU over here, right? And it took close to 5,407.2 uh, seconds for this particular notebook. And it had a score of 0.81. Okay. This is less than this particular BERT model score. And even the training time is more over here. Right. In particular set fit library. But let's look at how we uh, did it over here. I'll just walk through this notebook. I'm not going to run it. So you need to install transformers. Uh, it might be already installed. Okay, but you need to install set fit, which is this particular library. Okay, so once you do that, okay, uh, you basically read in your data, train data, and then I do actually, uh, I also read in the test data over here, simple pandas uh, read CSV method. Okay, then what I do is that I split the train data into 80% for training and 20% for evaluation. Okay. So that is the test uh, train test split from sklearn. I use that too and I stratify on the train data. Okay. On the target basically because what happens is that the target is your whether it is a disaster tweet or not. And this is an imbalanced data set as we saw earlier. So I stratify over here and I do the test train split. Okay. Uh, but uh, okay. So the length of this uh, train data frame is close to 6000 sample. Uh, what do you call? tweets or samples okay then uh, to use set fit what i have to do is that i have to import from set fit uh, set fit model set fit trainer 
sample data set and data set from uh, data sets okay and also from uh, sentence transformers dot losses i have to import cosine similarity loss this is exactly based on the example code which they have given over here okay so then for set fit uh, to train i need to create a data set okay so that is what i am doing over here a data set from pandas because our uh, uh, this thing is data set is from uh, this thing right pandas data frame is how we have imported this uh, train data okay so this is data set from a pandas data frame i create for both the train data set and evaluation data set so this is after the split over here after the train test split okay so then what i do is that once i do that uh, then what i have to do is that i want to just try it on some uh, smaller sample right not the entire train data because it is few short learning right so what i did is that in this case i took uh, i created a sample data set from this train data set which is 80 percent of your original train data uh, stratified basically uh, and I uh, do this particular sample data set function of set fit library. So what it tries to create is that it will create a train data set over here uh, with 1024 samples of disaster class and 1024 of non-disaster. So total sample size here will be 2048. So the training data which I am going to use for training the set fit uh, model is this particular data set and it's of size 2048 samples okay i'm not going to use say 80 percent of this 6090 which is basically close to 4000 samples i'm not going to use i'm going to use half of that okay and if you were to look at the original training set this is like 2004 uh, 408 samples out of 7500 okay so i'm just going to use a small sample size over here okay why this is 1024 i'll come back to that in a later video as uh, not in the later video but in this video at a later point of time i'll come back to that okay so here is where i am instantiating the set fit model okay so this is how you instantiate so this is the base transformer sentence transformer pre-trained sentence transformer which is used over here and uh, the number of classes is two over here and you are going to also train end to end so this differentiable head will be true okay so this is how instantiate the set fit model then what I have to do is that I have to create a trainer for this set fit model so that this is the syntax over here. So where you have set fit trainer where you give the model and here you specify your train data set, your evaluation data set. Basically these are, uh, you know, data set classes which I have created over here. Okay. So if you look at that over here, uh, this is my train data set where I have sampled this many samples. Okay. 2048 sample and then evaluation data set the loss class is cosine similarity loss the cosine similarity loss is for fine tuning of this sentence transformer okay so that is that cosine similarity loss metric is accuracy batch size is 8 number of iterations is equal to 20 okay number of epochs is 10 and this is the column mapping of the target and label okay basically you are uh, you know this is your class labels this is your text so this number of iterations is important over here. This generates the number of text pair to generate for contrastive learning. Okay. So that is for this sentence pairs generation for contrastive learning. More details are present in the paper. So you can check that out. Or maybe I can just quickly show you that, you know, what is this sentence pairs? Okay. So let's just wait for this to, uh, okay, load up. In the meanwhile we can check that so that is the number of uh, text pairs to generate for contrastive learning so this is your trainer right uh, still downloading okay so just quickly wait for that uh, so the idea over here is this sen uh, sentence pair needs to be generated right so um, that is what is explained over here so basically what they do is that for each class label they generate a set of r positive triplets where xi and xj are pairs of randomly choose sentence from the same class along with that they also choose uh, generate r negative triplets okay where sentences are not from the same class okay so this is the contrastive fine tuning data set t which has a mix of this this thing 
and what they use is that uh, typically they will use uh, r is equal to 20 basically 2 into 20 for each class okay where c is the number of uh, class labels so in our case we have two class labels so 2 into 20 into 2 so 40 fine tuning data set will be created basically that is the idea over here for you know these fine tuning data set pairs for fine tuning the pre-trained uh, what do you call sentence transformer okay so that is what is the this number of iterations the number of text pairs to generate for contrastive learning and this contrastive learning fine tuning will be for say 10 epochs that is the number of epochs okay so that is for this part okay so that is this, uh, this thing uh, creating the trainer then what you do is that uh, you unfreeze the body because you want an end-to-end -end training happening over here right so there are options of whether you want to freeze the unfreeze freeze the body and use it as such and only uh, train the head or you can do an end-to-end -end training so i am doing an end-to-end -end training over here and then i call trainer.train where i pass number of epochs is 25 and these batch size is 8 because when I increase the batch size, it was running out of memory. This is a GPU instance still. And then the learning rate for the body as well as the head and the L2 weight for weight decay. Okay. So then I call this trainer, uh, when I run this particular code, basically the model is now trained. Set fit model has been now trained. And then I evaluate it on the evaluation data set. And it says that it has an accuracy of 79.8 or 0.7 Okay. So that is the accuracy. Then I can push this model to the hub, okay. And uh, basically, this is my authentication token. I can push it, okay. Then what I can do is that I can, you know, uh, again pull the model from the hub, okay. And then I can run inference on my, uh, basically, on my test data, okay. So how do I do it? I do model test data of text to list. I have already uh, read that uh, data frame for test data. I get the predictions okay then i attach it to the target of test data and then i create a submission file over here and i submit it okay so once i run this particular notebook uh, you know and then i got the submission file and once i submitted it this was the score which was obtained so this is how you train uh, the set fit model on some data for classification okay now I tried some experiments over here. For example, in this particular notebook, uh, what I tried over here was, uh, maybe I think I changed the uh, data size over here. Let me go back to that. Uh, let me see, did I say, ah, I reduced the samples from, you know, 2048 to 512. So instead of 1024 in the training data set, I thought, okay, let us just try with 512 samples from 7,500 test data, okay? Uh, rest of the things I think are the same over here in the code. I'm not done any change over here. It is still, yeah. I also increase the number of epochs over here. Okay, rest of the things are same over here. And uh, this particular, uh, this thing gave a evaluation or a training accuracy or on the accuracy on the evaluation data set was 81. But the uh, uh, evaluation, uh, final evaluation on your, uh, what you call test data was, uh, you know, 0.78. Uh, this is a little bit reduction in terms of accuracy, but this was, uh, you know, much faster compared to in terms of time compared to the previous uh, model where I had 1024 samples. Okay. I also tried out some other things like, uh, you know, I think this is the same uh, notebook. Yeah, this is the same notebook 54702. So maybe I will not talk about this notebook. Okay. Uh, I also tried out some other things like, uh, you know, uh what if i did something called as uh, parameter fine tuning let's see whether i've done parameter fine tuning here or not yes here i've done parameter fine tuning okay so here what i do is that uh, you can install something called as optuna set fit optuna and then you can use this optuna library for hyperparameter search okay for this also the code is given over here how to do it um, so I just took that example code and I tried it over here. So the difference is that first you need to install this set fit install install set fit optuna. Okay. And then what you need to do is that uh, you need to create two things. Up to this point it is same. 
right uh, but you need to do a model in it like this okay in this function you set some parameters uh, some max iter uh, solver and some parameters over here for the optuna and you also have to uh, define a parameter space right you have to define a parameter space over here right and in that uh, space you define certain parameters like learning rate number of iterations maximum iterations okay so this number of iterations is quite uh, important as per uh, the paper so it is about the number of examples for contrastive learning or fine tuning your sentence transformers okay so in this way you can set up a parameter space okay for example these are the various learning rates which needs to be tried the number of epochs which needs to be tried the batch size okay so this is basically you are setting up a hyperparameter space so once you set up this hyperparameter space uh, all you do is that you create a trainer right and uh, then you call trainer and to the trainer you pass the train data set eval data set you call the model init function basically this function right and you also then uh, you know the column mapping of the text and then you do this best run is equal to trainer dot hyperparameter search direction is equal to maximize and then you initialize the space and the number of trails okay so in this way optuna library is used to search for hyperparameters over here i'll probably make another video on optuna at some point of time but that's the idea over here so it then tries to find out which is an optimal uh, you know what are the optimal parameters so once you find the optimal parameters using this optuna library you can then actually call uh, let me go to that code okay you can actually apply those hyperparameters to the trainer so best run dot hyperparameters final model is equal and you can call trainer dot train to train your model with the best hyperparameters so that is what i did over here and then i pushed the model this gave 79.25 on the evaluation data and even on the test data also it gave the same accuracy okay so if you look at uh, how i have used set fit over here uh, one thing which you will notice that is that this fine tuned bert model is much better than set fit over here but the thing is that this is fine tuned on the entire training data right whereas here this set fit is trained on say a small proportion of the training data so when you have very less training data or you want to do some kind of zero shot classification with very few training data then set fit can help okay but it may not help always uh, the thing is that it may be faster when compared to bigger models like t0 or gpt3 but in my case i saw that this uh, bert fine tuned on the entire data is much more faster and it gave better results but i have also done some pre processing on text over here whereas this is no pre processing nothing i have just used the text as such so even those things can make an impact but i am not sure how much okay i don't think makes a huge impact but may make an impact and uh, i found out that uh, in my case a uh, bert is better over here fine tuning a bert but when you have less data say i did not have the 7500 samples over here i just had say 1000 samples or i just had say 2000 samples in training data maybe bert would not have given this kind of a result maybe set fit gives better results over there so it will all depend on your use cases you need to experiment with various models but uh, i like this idea which is presented over here and on certain benchmarks they have got very good results i hope you like this video on set fit i'll be uh, sharing the links to these uh, kaggle notebooks you can try it out okay except that you need to change this uh, you know uh, hugging face authentication token uh, i'll be deleting that token so you need to change that token when you are pushing the models to the hub right so i'll be sharing these notebooks and the link to set fit uh, if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video